If you're a weather nerd like me, you're patiently awaiting the arrival of La Nina. So what does that mean to you? Well, what it means is that El Nino and La Nina, these uh, teleconnections to weather patterns can have an effect on global temperatures and precipitation around the entire world. And we've been in an El Nino most of the year. So last winter, that's why we had such a mild winter and a dry winter. This is what we would be needing for a La Nina to develop below normal sea surface temperatures off the west coast of South America. So let's now look at exactly where we were this time last year and where we're at this year. So this is last year, no question. It was an El Nino. You can see warmer uh, waters where that black box is off the west coast of South America. And I mentioned the winter that we had in Canada. Well, this looks a lot like a La Nina. It's getting close, but there's actual specific criteria that has to be met with the temperatures of the ocean to actually be deemed a proper La Nina. So we are gonna be getting there. We are supposed to transition. And what does it mean for your winter pattern? Could mean this, colder weather in Western Canada and wetter on the west coast and through the Great Lakes.